Well, hello, hello, and welcome to episode two of Games Revisited. I am an on junior host, and um, here we are, episode two. Just to kind of give a quick recap, basically what we're doing with this series is we're taking a look at some old games playing through classics that I either never get a chance to or wanted to take a look again and either way introduce them to people who have never seen them before. And, um, uh, sorry, sinus drainage. Uh, some genius ran out of his allergy medication and the people at the job site across the street uh, were cutting their lawn today. So if I sound a little, little stuffed or some odd pauses, that's what's up. So anyway, uh, so what we're trying to do is just kind of do a medium paced run through. We're not trying to speed run through it, but we're not trying to look over each and every detail and uh, just enjoy the game. We're not going to go too deep into the lore. We're not going to go like uber deep into uh, the backstory and that sort of thing with the characters. We're just going to enjoy a game, enjoy a classic game. Something that we haven't seen in a while or played in a while. That sort of thing. So in episode one, I went over my character stats. I went over how and why I rolled, why I chose a class, why you're only going to see me level up one more time while we're on the training planet. I mean, Terrace. And all that sort of stuff. Went through the basic tutorial type things. We did a little bit of exploring around the city. And story-wise, as far as the game's concerned, uh, you are a character who has just woken up. You have little memory of what's going on, naturally. And uh, after an assault by the Sith fleet, your escape pod crash-landed on Terrace. And now you need to find the Jedi Knight who was assigned to your ship and rescue her. So we are on the lookout for the other Republic escape pods that uh, had crashed on the planet and see who we can save and what good we can do. And I specify good because, as I mentioned in episode one, this game is very clearly built upon the uh, D&D of the day, the Dungeons and Dragons, the pen and paper game style. Uh, clearly uses a lot of those rules and... Um, the one thing that is not explicitly set is your alignment. So in D&D terms, I'm trying to play this character as a neutral good character. In other words, I'm not going to go out of my way to uphold the law. I'm not going to go out of my way to break the law. It's just one of those things that uh, it depends on the situation. And we'll, we'll do what we do as we come across it. But on the whole, I will definitely be good. As you can see, I've already earned some light side points. You start off the game dead neutral. And depending on the actions you do, you will either earn light side points or dark side points. And that will influence some later game mechanics. And we'll get into those as we get there. So I believe that is the quick recap. And that should get us going as far as that goes. So with all that said, we had just finished walking around, we had upgraded some of the equipment, and now it is time to go. But before we do, I probably should check in yes, with my minion real mind? quick. Because, yeah, he's probably got more questions. And we need to be a caring leader and find out what's going on. I guess I did say you could ask me questions later, didn't I? <laughs> is this really necessary? Mm, what's the good I answer? I don't have a problem with it, really. Okay. Go ahead and interrogate me. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> Seriously, I dude. was just joking. Though you do seem to be full of questions. It's rather refreshing, to be honest. Mm. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things yeah. just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened, from your perspective. Um... Where is the, why are you asking me a loaded question option? <laughs> all right, what happened? Uh, all right, yeah, well, neither was go. I, to tell the truth. There I was go. on board as an advisor for the most part. The battle began so fast, it's advisor. anyone's guess as to what actually happened. We lost the ship and a lot of good people. And a lot of good people. And for what? And the hope that the Jedi powers for would game. save us somehow? 
Not that Bastila had much of an opportunity to act. We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Good. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm no, just as surprised you know. that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, yeah. it's, it's more almost than like it was designed that way. Here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your yeah. position with the Republic fleet anyway? What is your position? Well, that yeah, makes sense. There we go. Still, it seems a bit strange that someone who is a last-minute addition to the crew roster is one of the survivors. Dude, you're like one question away from a tinfoil hat. You were the only one. Not to mention that Bastila's party was the one who requested your transfer. Really? The Jedi requested numerous <laughs> things when they came on board. I mean, hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably like wrong, plot and convenience. this is probably nothing. I, know. <laughs> I learned a long time ago not to take things not at take face, things value, face value, ever, value. And but I I'm going surprises. to continue treating you like I'm taking you at first value. Yeah, all right, let's I mean, I have question. to expect the unexpected, just to be safe. Hmm. Look, it has nothing yeah. to do with you personally. I don't no, trust no. anyone. It I feels awfully reasons. personal. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep okay. our mind on more important things? Sure. All right, all right. You're pretty damn tenacious. You know that? Tenacious. We'll talk about it, That's but me. later. Right now, I just want to get going. Okay. Conversation with Minion successfully completed. All right. And uh, I also wanted to go check oh, inventory. All right. Okay, on grenades. Ooh. Do I have the best armor on everybody? There we go. There we go. Yeah, I got the fiber suit. He's got the military suit. Oh yeah, no, no, no. So I can definitely sell that combat suit, get some credits. Always good. Uh, oh, I forgot about those. We have an energy shield. That could come in handy. <laughs> Just a little bit. Got four out of five uses left. Uh, deflection energy. Okay, got to remember that. Because one of the things that I do want to do is go back to the arena. And then I'll head down to the... Back down to the uh, sewers and continue exploring. Uh, the reason why I want to head back to the arena is because I... Realize that one of the mistakes that I made was not keeping as close a tabs on my health as I should have. I keep forgetting that in certain situations you really need to uh, micromanage things. Oh yeah, I knew there was going to be some loot from one of those guys sooner or later. What did I got? Anything good in there? Yeah, okay, that'll work. And no, uh, I don't want to talk to you. You're too expensive. I found out you ripped me off earlier. Alright. Okay. Are you the elevator? No. Is it made and screwed? Or, no. I took the long way around, didn't I? There we go. To the upper city. So I'm gonna try that arena battle with ice again. And this time, try to uh, manage things a little bit better. Where's my map? There we go. And that's to the cantina. That's to the clinic. And that takes us to the upper city. So, let's go this way. Oh. And I do have an upgraded sword now, too. Welcome to the Equipment Welcome Emporium. The Find Emporium. a selection of supplies Find in selection. all of Terrace. You interested in seeing what I have in stock? Nah, I just, you know, stop by for a second time because... Because of the Sith quarantine, I haven't been able yeah, to you told stock me that last any time. new inventory. Quarantine but was still I still got some nice time. items you might be interested in. Yeah, yeah. How about I sell you this? Bam. I don't need the shock sticks. 
Um, keeping the parts, keeping the spikes, hanging on to the repair kits, because I'm pretty sure I'll get a Jordan sooner or later. That wouldn't be a thing if you didn't need it sooner or later. Hang on to the long sword for my blaster heavy friend, just in case. Uh, ooh. I might want to sell one of those. So I got a heavy blaster, a blaster rifle. I'm keeping the iron blaster pistol anyway, because I know that does special damage versus the droids, and it penetrates certain types of shields. All right, that's one to eight energy damage. 23 meters, standard crit range, balanced weapon. All right, one to eight. Greater range, higher crit range. It's just, oh, because that's a single-handed and that's a two-handed. Okay, because that's a pistol, that's a rifle. Let's go ahead and let's sell that too. I want to keep the credits, uh, credits high. And I will take a dex boost because I know I will need that. May want to use the stamina boost in one of the arena fights. So I will actually hang on to that in the strength boost. I definitely want to keep. All right. Is there anything on the buy list I want to do? I'm okay on med packs. Uh, I'll hang now. Nah, skip on the security spikes. I'm not going to do any better on the armor. Is that, that's a six, that's a six, that's a five, that's a four, that's a seven. Uh, but it's not upgradable, and I've already got upgradable stuff, so I don't need those. I don't, I've already got a better one. Uh, not needing the quarter staves. That requires two handed combat. Which I haven't quite gotten to where I'd want to do that anyway. Two to twelve. I might want to consider that at some point in the future. And you know what? I am not seeing a whole lot that I want to do. Because I, I don't care about the stealth units. I'll pick up more grenades as I go. I don't really do the mines. Uh, it is a valid tactic. I can definitely see people doing it, but uh, not my bag. Now here's the question. Do I want to try my luck at the gambling table again? Because we saw in the last game how well I fared on two separate games. And just what kind of rolls happen. Pazak right. is not for everyone. It yeah, requires it's not both for everyone. nerve and skill. Perhaps you should practice. And since I am everyone, it's not for me. Right? Such a is that how that works? Myself. <laughs> Unless you like losing. Yeah. That's I'm going to enjoy relieving you of your credits almost as much as I'm going to enjoy humiliating you. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh... Man, I really want to do a minimum bid so I don't lose much, but if this is going to be the one time I actually win, I'd like to actually earn something too. So we'll split the difference at 20. Yeah, that's 20 credits I made off of all the stuff I sold. So it's not like it's a big loss if it's gone. Let's bet. We only have the starter side deck, so we'll go with that. Are you sure? Well, I don't really have much of a choice now, do I? All right. Alright, let's see how the next one goes. Alright. 11. This was to 20. Uh, I could definitely take at least one more. Bam. Ooh, that's a good way to start. Alright. First win's free. <laughs> that's what it feels like. <laughs> Words of Han Solo. Don't get cocky, kid. Let's just do that. Come on, go over. Ah, uh, of course. Hmm. 
That was a big card to open up with. 17. Come on. Oh, are you kidding me? Somebody check that man's sleeve. He just happened to have those. Uh-huh. All right. Watch. He's going to manage to pull out another 20. All right. 18. Yeah, I don't have any choice but to stand. And come on. Watch him pull another 20 out of his pocket. Oh! Oh, hot diggity. You we won some lucky money. To win the last match, but luck is no substitute for skill in mm -hmm. Baza. If you are foolish enough to play me again, I won't repeat the mistake of underestimating you. Alright. Yeah, I'm you not gonna take the bait. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know where to find you. Alright. Yeah, I made 20 credits. Now I wish I'd bet 40. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is why I do not gamble. Alright, we've already talked to all those people. Uh, already got in trouble over there. Alright, let's talk to Mr. The Hut and try our luck with Ice Ice Baby. I knew he'd be back. They always come back. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Go me the money. Is that what I'm hearing? That's what I'm hearing. Was, yep. Yeah, no, I'm, I can't need the money. It's not about the ring. It's not about the crowd. It's not about the rush of the battle. I need to pay my minions. That's why I need to fight again. I keep giving my money away. Because I'm trying to be a good boy. Do I want to step in the ring right now? No, I just walked over here to say hi. Alright, let's do this duel. And lost last time. Fortune. Maybe sense will smile on me this time. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> draw your eyes to the center ring. We have draw a very special presentation ring. in store for you. Over in this corner, a woman with steel on her bones and ice on her veins. Ice on her veins. She's cold and quick as death itself. You know her. You love her. Ice. And in the other corner, a rising star taking that first step into the big leagues. Rising star. I give you the mysterious, mysterious stranger. stranger. All right, lady. All right, last time I tossed the grenade, she ran towards me anyway. Um, power attack is going to... I don't know if that's going to decrease my AC enough to, to make that worth an opening salvo, but let's go ahead and try that first. Then we'll hit it up with a flurry. A flurry of flurries. Yeah. Bam! Eat it. Mm, let me go ahead and throw... Oof. Alright, she's probably got two more hits. I've already lost a little bit of health. Let me throw a med pack in there and then another flurry after that. I'm okay wasting it if it ends up coming to that. And it turns out not to be a waste. Okay. Uh, let's try another power attack. And I've. Ooh. My health didn't go up that much. I bump another one in there just in case. And we'll throw another floor after that. <laughs> Flurry and misses. Alright. Miss, miss, miss. My dice, ladies and gentlemen, in a nutshell. And you know what? Let's be cautious. Throw another one of those in there. Let's throw another one of those in there. And let's do another flurry of misses. Yes. 
That's why I did that. Oh, miss. Big swing and a miss. Hey, there we go. It's over. The it's fight over. Is the over. fight is the over. The mysterious stranger has won. With the announcer voice. The announcer thing. Looks like we have a rising star in the <laughs> mysterious stranger, folks. But how high can this star soar? You'll just have to watch and see. It's actually funny that I'm listening to the announcer. Uh, listening. Ooh, journal entry added, XP added, always nice. You uh, speak I've nicely never been to me one then? to shy away from the cold, hard truth. Ooh, the cold, hard so I'll just truth. come right out and say it. I can't compete with the likes, the likes of you, stranger. Of you. I know when I'm overmatched. <laughs> you're good. Very good. But you're wrong if you think that means I'm suddenly going to warm up to you. The truth is, I really don't, I don't have anything, have anything more, to, more say. to say. So you might as well move Quite on. Quite frankly, my dear, I don't... Never mind. <laughs> All right. Show me the money. Yeah. Good fight. They bet a lot. Where's my 10%? Come on. Quit talking. More credits, less chat. No, I don't think she is a Jedi. I also realized I forgot to put the larger chat up on my uh, side monitor. <laughs> no, she's not a she's not a Jedi. She's just one of the uh, combatants in the ring. At this level, I should be able to take the next guy. But what I need to do before I go try to take him on is I need to run back over to the medical clinic and uh, get a free heal. Because my life is looking a little slim, and I don't want to waste any more med packs. I burned through a couple of them on that last go-around, and it helped. But, um... Yeah, I'll stop and buy a couple of med packs from somewhere, too. Probably over at the clinic. Kind of wish this game had some fast travel options, but I find that in the games that have that, I tend to miss a fair amount. Oh, yeah, because of all the misses. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, I missed a few more than a few on that one, too. Uh, if you were there l Welcome for uh, last week's adventure, you you'd or hear supplies? some of the chatter about me and right here at the center for almost and any uh, condition, when I play D&D with the disease, of course. group. Uh, I could use some healing take me a moment while I examine your injuries, and, and then I'll probably look like arena treatment. injuries too. <laughs> right, Welcome back. Buy a couple Are of you in need of healing or medical supplies? Yeah. I can treat you right here at the center. Yeah. For anyway, when it comes to games of chance, the odds the generally do not work out in my favor. It's become something of a running joke in our uh, group. Of course. Just step over here, and I'll show you what I have in stock. My prices are very reasonable. <laughs> just what I need to keep this facility operating. Mm-hmm. All right. Ooh, I could pick up a couple of advanced med packs. That would definitely help with the uh, low bump to healing. But I'm not sure I want to spend that kind of money just yet. So let me buy another and two more. Because I know I'm getting ready to go back to the arena for at least one more before I level up. And, uh, and then I'll head back down to the Undercity. I'll have to figure out how to get the chat bigger on my side monitor. Short-term memory something or other. I usually go through the same routine before setting up a stream every time in this one time. Oh well. Actually, let me do that now. Before I go too much further, before I get this battle going. And minimize that real quick. Let me get the Restream chat app up and running. So I can at least have it in a glanceable size off to my side. <laughs> All right. 
should be able to see that as we go. All right, I got my monitor back over there. All right, there we go. All right. Mr. Hut. Yes, you knew I'd be back. Because I need the money. <laughs> you always a star, good team, getting famous. Famous was not the objective, but uh, we'll go with that. There are three classes that you can choose from. One kind of modeled after the D&D Rogue, one kind of modeled after the D&D Fighter, and one kind of modeled after the D&D Ranger. Uh, that's the one that I'm playing here because it's a good balance between skills and uh, capabilities. And uh, once you get off this planet here, the starter planet, you will then have to choose which Jedi class you want to pick. And, and then you level up in Jedi for now. And th those are the only options for leveling up once you get off the planet is you pick a Jedi class and you level that class. And that is it from now on out. So you kind of start off as somebody who lost them in the middle of the battle. And I can't do that. It's a tried and true trait for getting games started, particularly around the time this was published. But uh, it is definitely fun and definitely worth uh, if you've never played it before, I would I would recommend it. Alright. Yeah, so it's a tutorial planet. You learn the basics of combat, you interact with some people. And yeah, let me go ahead and fly it again. And you get a chance to get a feel for how different things go. Like as we get down into the under city a little bit later, as soon as I win or lose on this one, however that happens. Ooh, 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 no, 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 heal. That's what I get for not paying attention. Let me go ahead and take a med pack. And then I can hit you with a power attack. And then a flurry of misses. And we'll see how that goes from there. Oh, nope. The stranger is gone. The mysterious stranger is gone. But yeah, this is a way to play through all the different mechanics. We'll, we'll do some uh, sweet bike racing, which is a, a thing in the game as you go along. Just like the card game I opened up with at the start of the stream. So. <laughs> Oof, yeah, I know. Unfortunately, I have not yet mastered the fine art of talking and focusing on the game at the same time. You look at some of the uh, the guys that have been doing this a while, and they make it look so easy. But that that's usually because they've been doing it for a while. I'll get there. Practice, practice. Of course, it also helps that they're usually playing games that they've been playing for as long as they've been streaming. And uh, this was on sale for back on uh, May the 4th as part of their Star Wars thing. Steam had this one and its sequel, and pretty much all the Star Wars games that are in Steam uh, were on sale for a nice discount. Although right now, the last I checked, this is going for about 10 bucks. Welcome back. So if you're are looking you for an inexpensive game supplies? to start up that's still I fun to play, right here at the this, is a, this is a good candidate. Except the raccoon disease, of course. Uh, I could use some me a while I, examine your injuries and I never I'll get to the med the proper treatment. <laughs> all right. Thank you, good sir. Let's hustle on back. Uh, you know what? Uh, I'll start. I'll start with that guy in the arena later. Let me get to the next part. And is this the? Yeah, this is the upper city. Oh, and is the exchange? Yeah, I think the exchange rate is working about that way. Um. I keep forgetting which direction ends up working a little bit better. Um, last week we picked up some Sith armor so we could imitate the, uh, so we could disguise ourselves as a Sith. Ooh. Yeah, that is quite the time difference. What are you studying? If you don't mind answering real quick. Yeah, 
and uh, good luck in your studies. Huh. Hey, you, you say just maths. Like, like that isn't the foundation of a great many things. Ah. I've been there too. Well, I wish you the best of luck. I've been posting replays of the streams on my YouTube channel. So if you want to check it out a little bit later. Did IT? Yeah. Yeah, my, my actual degree is in computer programming. And I'm currently on sabbatical. Looking to do some different stuff and maybe figure out what's next. Hmm. Alright. I remember, these guys were rather interesting. Oh, he's out of reach, so... And he's out of range. Okay. Ready. Sure. at a time that uh, works a little bit better. <laughs> As the bad guy bravely runs away. Oof. There we go. I think I found those two mid packs. Alright, money's always nice. That's right, that's going to be a later thing. That is definitely going to be a later thing. <laughs> oh! Duh. That's why I had so much trouble. I got the wrong armor on. 19 is a lot better AC. Have fun! Good luck in math class. You'll do fine. You got this this time around. At least you know what's coming up. Tutorial planet full of dive bars. Except this one's looking a little rougher. Uh, with blaster holes in the floor and whatnot, I can't imagine why people would prefer the upper city canteen. Here's the question. Do I want to spend the money on possessions? Or do I want to save it for actual equipment? There's a part of me that wants to go ahead and spend it on some cards just so I can keep checking in on the game here and there. But I do not plan on playing much Pazak. Because, uh, yeah, I'm not much of a gambler. It doesn't work out too well most of the time. So, uh, let's see what he has for sale. If it's something cheap enough, I might do it. But, um, Ooh. Plus minus one is nice, but is it 200 credits nice? I don't know. Plus minus three definitely has its place, but, you know. Yeah, I already got a bunch of those. We got a bunch of those. Minus two could come in handy. It's under a hundred credits. That's not that's not too bad. 
Plus or minus six is not nearly as helpful. Because uh, it usually seems to be by a little bit or by a lot. Yeah, I'm not going to buy anything just yet. Thank you, good sir. I might be back if I have more credits than I know what to do with. Greetings, stranger. My name is Gelrut. Are you a Pazak player by chance? It's so hard for me to find a match now that I've been banned from the Upper Band, City Cantina. <laughs> a hmm. simple misunderstanding. Some of the other simple Pazak players don't understand the finer points of the game. So what if I win 15 <laughs> matches in a row? That doesn't mean I cheat. That's no justice. Doesn't mean you don't My lucky cheat Pazak deck was confiscated and I was banned from the Upper <laughs> Cantina. Since then, I've been desperate to find a match. Does the uh, lucky deck have color changing cards? If you want to ask questions, go talk to Zax in the bounty office. Okay. He knows everything that's happening on Taurus. I'm just here to play for Zax. So, do you want to play or not? Yeah. If you're ever looking for a match and you're tired of good posturing match. in the upper cantina, just come down here and find me. I'll play you anytime. I bet he's got a higher max bet, too. But uh, I ain't going to worry about that. Uh oh, cutscene. Drama. Go away. Tension. Big bad bounty hunter. Yeah, those are famous last words. I've seen how this goes. Giocacuto Pretty skilled, especially since I only heard two blaster fire. Go away. One. Yeah. Smart. I ain't playing that game. Yep. Yep, not playing that game. All right, let's see. What does the lower cantina have to offer? I saw Davik's new starship at the spaceport before the quarantine. They say it's the fastest Davik's ship. new starship. I wonder if that's going to become important. Ooh, cutscene number two. I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like bantha poodoo. Mm -hmm. Who you call a little girl, Chuba Face? Yeah, this doesn't seem like it's gonna end well either. Solbar, a little help here? I need you to rip the legs off some insects. Quit complaining. You can finish eating. Quit complaining, you walking stereotype. You need the exercise, so get over here. Wouldn't be a Wookiee if it wasn't big, scary, and hungry. You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. I want you to say hello to my furry friend. Is that what I heard? I think that's what I heard. No talking. No talking. What about I heard you? Davix hired a Mandalorian mercenary to oh. work for him. I didn't know there were any of them left after the Mandalore Wars. Sounds like a plot point. I can't wait for the big okay. swoop race. I hear the Volkers have a new engine that's going to break all the records. All the records. Say, I don't recognize you, and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You must be new down here. 
I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. Yeah, it's we'll not that, that strange. Most aliens can speak basic. They just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sort of got used to speaking in native tongue. You showed a lot of guts okay. dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalbar. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need... Anything else you need. Do I want to press? Yeah. We just kind of fell in together. It ain't easy on your own here in the lower city. <laughs> Everyone's always looking really? to push you around. So we noticed. noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zalbar, it seemed Thank like you, a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. Yeah, well, we came questions. to the right person. If you want info on Lower Terrace, I'm the one to talk to. Davik, the Lower City Gang. I think you met him I even got the scoop on that bounty what hunter, Kalanor. What other information Kalanor. do you have? Alright, I already asked about that. Let's Davik's find out what do you know about Davik. But I guess everyone knows I'm that. Sure you but I hear he's got a new ship for his smuggling operation. Alright, that's the second Evan time that's popped up. It I don't might know much about space travel, but I hear that ship's fast enough to break the Sith blockade. Alright, that is important. Is so I guess we're going to be stealing that at some point in the future. If Davik does have a ship, he's got it locked up in his estate. Nobody gets in there. Except the people working for Davik and the exchange. Alright, and let's There's find out about the gangs. There's only two about here in the lower city. The Black Bolkers and the Hidden Becks. Sometimes Zalbar and I hang out at the Beck base. The Becks are led by Gadget Which means that they're probably the good he's ones. Of course, the Vulcans are the ones that have been beating us up at every opportunity. Even blind, he's a great leader. Not like that traitor Brezhik. Before he took over the Vulcans, he was a hidden back. Gadden considered that ungrateful space slug his adopted son. So I just walked into Greece. Right, let's find out about no, or no. Actually, let's when keep on the same blind, track. Everyone figured he'd step down and appoint Brezhik in his place. But Gadden figured Brezhik wasn't ready yet. He wanted him to wait a few years. But Brezhik was too impatient. He left to join the Volkers, and ever since, okay. he's been waging a war to wipe Gadden and his sex from the face of Terrace. This gang war in the Something lower tells me we're going to be suppressing a gang war before They're this is the all done. They're the killing everything that moves out on the streets. It's like they've gone insane. Alright, so I've asked why he left the Hidden Becks. We asked about Davik. So, what do you know Kalanor about Carly? one of the most died. famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. He's killed more people than the Iridium Plague. I've seen him kill people just for trying to talk to him. He hangs around yeah, Zach's bounty office, but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time. Way beneath the bounty hunter of his caliber. I figure callow has been hired by Davik to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand oh. credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be getting off well, this if you got a thousand credits to wager, you know, we could... You going? Hmm. Yeah, this dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. <laughs> oh, you're with your Can't you right. think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Oh, close enough. Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the Beck base. Alright. No, no, you don't want to finish that conversation? Okay. I got a funny feeling we'll be meeting you knit later. Most named character. Alright, uh, oh, oh, no. Okay. Guess we're walking. Uh, you do look a little funny. Uh, no. Good. Whatever kind of questions get me answers that will help me with the game. How about that one? Uh, sure. In other words, the scriptwriters were running out of names for planets. Tinkuin 
Is a pitch thing or? Alright. Is everybody that's been complaining about the quarantine has not had much in the way of other information to share? So I'm not going to try to bother you on that count. Oh, we can't eat the food. Alright. Yeah, this game war is getting out of hand. Falkers aren't just attacking the hidden Bex anymore. They go after everyone. Oh, they're going after everyone. Alright. Oh, that's huh? right. You. What? I gotta talk to you. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. My attention was kind of focused on the Twi'lek dancers. Look oh. at them waggle those head tails. I don't normally go for these oh. alien oh. girls, but I've had some bad experiences with my own species lately. Maybe it's time uh, for a change. Rated T. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't want to waste my time answering a bunch of questions. I'm here to have a few drinks, watch the dancing girls, and enjoy myself. I've got to be mentally ready. Davik's got an assignment for me. I'll so plan it as soon as the quarantine ready? ends. Gotcha. All right, uh... I'm one of his top couriers. Uh -huh. Davik's always sending me off planet to deliver and bring back packages. He knows he can oh, trust me to curious. follow my orders to the letter. Plus, I used to be an intergalactic customs agent, so I know all the tricks huh. they use to catch smugglers. That gives me the used to be, I need on my courier runs. Usually the ones that used to be failed. It's not like it's some big secret. It's kind of hard for Davik to keep a low profile when he belongs to a big intergalactic crime syndicate like the Exchange. Huh. Davik's ship is the fastest one in the entire quadrant. But even oh, the Ebonhawk can't get off Taurus until the quarantine is lifted. <laughs> the Sith fleet has the planets around it. Any ship leaving orbit without proper access codes will be disintegrated by the Sith auto-targeting laser cannons. Mm -hmm. And those codes are locked safely away safely in the military away. base. Davik's pretty upset I about think it. I see a His smuggling form. operation isn't making any money. But even with his underworld connections, he can't get his hands on those codes. You are here about that? <laughs> I guess Zax must have mentioned me to you at the bounty office. Fair enough. I don't care who takes her out. Just so long as the job gets done. I can't let her get away with what she did. That wench tried to cut me with a vibro blade. Because she's crazy. She started screaming that I was making uh -huh. advances, and the next thing I know she's coming at me Last with a week, knife. We saw yeah, her end of the story. Sounds to me like she was defending herself. Yeah. I admit I was drunk. Maybe I got a little fresh, but it was no big deal. Sounds she like didn't have to cut me. Blues too. They said I was drunk and disorderly, but I was only drunk. Well, maybe a little disorderly. <laughs> hey, you know what? You weren't there. She totally mm -hmm. overreacted. All right. What? <laughs> I can't do that. How would it look? Think how it would look. It would look like you sobered up. I've got a certain reputation to uphold. Mm. I can't let her get away with this. Can't let her there get away has with to this, be huh? Payback. Although, I do feel a little guilty about all this. Dia's a good looking gal. It'd be a shame to kill her. Tell you what, <laughs> I'll take 200 credits in exchange for lifting the bounty. 200 credits. behind that. But if I do that, he's likely to go after her. That will probably get me the dark side points that I don't want. Uh, should I threaten him? That seems a little more chaotic neutral. That's not going to help. Uh, let's Don't go ahead and try this way. Stick to my end of the bargain. Uh huh. I'll go tell Zax right now that the bounty is the off the table. Bounty off the table. You better. Hmm. All right. So that was the right deal for the light side points. That keeps me on my uh, path to good. 
I'm dealing with a criminal and just paying him off, so I guess that keeps me on the neutral side. All right, they're probably not going to talk because they never do. There's the dead men from earlier, so that leaves this one last. Nope. Uh, where was X? Oh. He was probably in this one, and we got distracted by the madam and a rookie. Right. Why are you bothering me? Mm -hmm. I think I know where this is going. Uh, sure. What you talking about? So you're just gonna keep scouting until you can <laughs> yes, because the Sith would, you know. No, I don't think the Sith would let you go. They won't let anybody else go. Why are they going to let you go? <laughs> he right, so I'm stuck here. Figured I might as well continue my audition. Huh. Uh, why yeah, you, you've said that before. No, no, I'm pretty dexterous. I should be able to help, right? Is this going to be a charisma roll or a dex roll? That's the question. Because if it's dex, I got dex for days. If it's charisma, we in trouble. Alright. You don't have to ask her, I guess. Alright. Let's see how you're going to vote me into dancing. Bonanakachu, Yin Kin Kun Noba Mule Rachi Kun, Tong Nabun Shanu Yang, Ti Umpa Dog on the Rita, Akti Kondo Una Chabachisa Wanki, Ti Toki Grant to Contita Kungrin Kanchan to Pro, Bokwala Nobok Sha, Nichi Kunchu. No way, Bibs is going to hire me. Alright, uh. With Timembo Rank Thong. Muli ra on shantoring um ni patoga wanga chonzi tse. Ika grotu haku jije. Watu yama kama wuna henak neck. Lady, I'm the hero of this story. Uh, they're all persuade, so. Let's try. Mana mana tota haku ji krala bola ji chok. It's not. Shantang. Okay, so I gotta pass a charisma check to do this, don't I? Mana mana tota hakuji krala bola ji chok shuntang shun kipa unapanka muli rikon kili kun kili no ba wati monya lakona una kun muli ra. Step up and start dancing. Huh? Okay. Alright. Third time's a charm, right? Well, depends. Is this a charisma roll or is this a dexterity roll? I would think because of his movement, it's a dexterity roll. Because of his charisma, we're in trouble. 
Let's do this. Three chances, huh? At least it's better than being decided by a singular dice roll. Thank you for that keen advice. I would have never guessed that I'm supposed to try to not screw it up. Okay. Uh, hmm. Let's do this one. Alright, <laughs> What is that? Hmm. Sure. That looks something. That looked out of sync. <laughs> I've worked with musicians. That, that seems like somebody's a step off. Like somebody's on 5 4 and somebody else is on 4 4. And all I know is that that is not the, the funky kind of syncopate. Keep it simple. Simple I can manage. Simple, huh? Alright, uh, mm -hmm. so, uh, yeah, sure, let's do that. Oh, I screwed it up. I hope I didn't screw that up. We'll get a chance to do it again. One more. Jone Yuturi Yanchi, either Bola on Chich neck, Bahmuli, Selima Wanga Kumbi, Jan Shak Bulara, Umra Chiska Duchi, on Chubanjiska Yanki, Titoki, you talk about. You just threw some random amateur up there with her. How's that her problem? You're, you're seriously going to drop her because some random amateur? Like I thought you were scouting the best. Bona Nakichu. Hey, hey, hey. I am not clutchy. I don't have to put on that. No, sorry, it is not. Well. That didn't go that well. Alright, what else we got? We got a bounty hunter. Something, something. Carlo Nord. Something, something. I'll stick with the bounties Davik puts out. They're usually less dangerous than the government funded contracts. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that would have been important. What do you want now? This whole thing with Dia okay. is over. So is we over. don't have anything to discuss. Fine by me. 
That means I get to go back to enjoying the Indeed. dancing girls. Why are you standing here? What you got? Right. Mr. The Hut. I've not seen you before. You're the one handing out the bounties and doing all the other fun stuff, eh? Okay, okay. You're in charge. Gotcha. Everybody says as good as extra work, so, yeah. <laughs> Legal and otherwise, eh? Alright, what is on the side quest job board? I'm pretty sure I already cleared a few of them out as I was wandering about. Matter of fact, there should be three less of them. And I could use information too. Was that information going to cost me? Because we also know that um, huts with answers are not cheap. Uh, Not officially. Gotcha. So it's an unofficial thing. Eyes open, post bounties. Yeah, okay. Tell me about the bounds. Okay, two government contracts. So we got an assassin we need to take out. And the duelist. I can't see anything wrong with getting rid of people like that. As long as we don't end up on a list of their victims. <laughs> that is the general idea. I thought that contract was off the table. Alright, we go. Have we not run into him yet? We might not have run into him. Right. Okay, I don't know about Davik's special contracts. Justice is one thing. But doing a crime lord's dirty work is something else. I thought we took care of that guy too. Alright. Got... At least two that I'm pretty sure we've already done. Which bounty am I collecting? Okay, yeah, I thought we took care of that one. <laughs> Glad you took it that way. Is this a paying job this time? I like paying jobs. Ah. Okay. I think that just about earns me back what I've spent on this. I really want to try that Persuade, but those haven't been rolling too well for me, so let's just do some, uh, thank you very much. Yeah, but I don't want them working harder. This is easy to crack. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, I get for information. Hundred credits. Well, considering that I'm up three hundred credits. Actually, I guess technically I'm up one hundred because I gave two hundred to home skillet. 
to kill the contract on Dia. No. Okay. <laughs> it was worth a try, but I'm pretty sure that that DC for the uh, persuade attempt is above what any character is going to be rolling at this point, even if he cranked up the charisma. That would be an interesting. Uh, that would be an interesting thing to try, maybe with an alternate character, is uh, put all the points in charisma, may make him stupidly charismatic, and then uh, and then see if you can manage the persuade. Like, dump all the skill points and persuade. You're still talking. This has got to be the only way to get you back to the conversation tree I really want. Yada yada yada. He opposed me. He opposed his boundary. Space star doesn't skip through this. I'm pretty sure the mouse button will. But okay, there we go. All right, I need some information. It's not free. Still the hundred credits, so at least you didn't go up on that. I'm always worried that that's going to be the end result of a failed persuasion attempt. Alright, hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah. Fair. That's what I call you. I'm going to have to go back and find the lady and let her know that the contract's done. That's probably what's going to finish that quest. Alright, let's start with the escape pods. Uh -huh. Okay. So, the confrontation we knew we were going to have with the Belt Club Card Gang is now doubled. Because we got the normal gang stuff that we got to deal with. And they've got the uh, the escape cards. Cool. I guess if I busted through the door and cleaned it out. Alright. Uh. <laughs> Not full blast rolls. Maybe a standoff, you know, good, the bad, and the ugly style. Yeah, Alright, it's almost like they're right across the aisle. Okay. He's a smart man, huh? Okay. What can you tell me about the games? Alright, nothing new here. That's pretty much what uh, Mission told us a little bit earlier, just outside the door. I really don't like paying 100 credits for information I already knew, but, uh, you know, okay. Seal the base and the shooting people in the streets, that I also knew. Like, the second I walked through the door, they assaulted me. Didn't work out for them. I assaulted them. Didn't work out for them. But this is the part that assuages my uh, neutral good nature. That they're better with Gadden. Kept the peace. So, you know. Okay. What else you got? Right, we asked about the escape pods. We asked about the gangs. So let's ask about some way to get off the planet. Maybe wants to leave, not possible. Dalek's got the faster ship in the sector that keeps coming up like we might even see that later. Hmm. Let me guess. Like Mission told us, for free, I might add. We need the codes. <laughs> Auto targeting cannons set to disintegrate. Was it Mission that told us about the codes or somebody else? I think it was Mission. Alright. Codes? What codes? 
It's an older coach, uh, but it checks out. Got the accent. Oh, I, I apologize. Alright. Transmit the codes. The auto targeting cannons won't fire. So now we need to get into the military base. Gotcha. Well, you told me about somebody that's got the fastest ship. And now I just need to get the codes and the ship. And then I can get out of here. Uh, no way to get off terrors. You just need codes, which I told you where they are. And the ship, which I told you where it was. <laughs> and since you already told me it was the fastest one. Alright, tell me about that. I think that's the last one. Busy man. Runs the planet. No, runs lower terrors. <laughs> he almost ran the whole thing too. Controls it all, huh? Well, all in the lower city. That's almost like all. Exchange the Galactic Crime Syndicate. You repair very smart, stay in as good, sir. Even the Sith know better than a bigger fight. Okay. Uh, I'd like to meet him. Nah. Long ago? In a galaxy far, far away? Oh wait, no, that'd be right here, wouldn't it? Alright. So, I gotta do something that's gonna make him want to meet me. That's what I got. The king of the lower city. He doesn't just walk around here like a commoner. He's in his estate and works through agents. <laughs> like the big Mandalorian. Right. Do you have information on that Mandalorian? You, you've been a semi helpful mix of a little bit of both. Of stuff I already knew and stuff I needed to know. Alright, so we got the skate pods, we got the way off, we got the Davik, we got the lower city gangs. What else you got? What do you want to know? Uh, hmm. Bounties. Bounties. Okay, so we got some XP. <laughs> Net change, we earned 200. Well, except for the fact that we gave some of it away, but you know, potato, potato. Uh, I have not received any new gear, so I really shouldn't be... I don't know why I'm checking on that. There was something I was going to check in... Oh, the journal. That's what I need. By the by... So just give me the bar. No, okay. It doesn't give me a list. Skills. Dialogue. Journal. There we go. Okay. Still working on the ring. Official on Sullivan. Uh, there is an official government bounty out on Bendex Starkiller, a famous duelist renowned for killing dozens, if not hundreds, of people in illegal death matches. Bendex has been known to frequent the areas in the upper cantina near the dueling ring. Alright. Thanks to your intervention, Haladin has withdrawn the bounty from Dia's head. Now the only thing left is to tell her. And Zilka at the Upper City Medical Center. Alright. About the Rat Ghoul. This is information that we picked up last week. And uh, if you'd like to see the full adventure as far as that goes, go to the YouTube channel, search for Anon Jr. Games Revisited. And I am working on getting an actual custom URL. I'm not there yet. I need 100 subscribers to make that happen. So uh, please give the channel a boost. Help me get a custom URL. Alright, uh, what else?
else do we have out here? Karth. That's right. We're still talking to the minion, trying to find out what's going on. The search for Bastila. The whole thing that started over here. All right. We got two bounty, three, no, two and a half bounties. And I fast travel back to the hideout. Okay, good. Because then I can go turn that in and I should be able to fast travel back here. Because Dia should be right around the corner here. You're back. Did you You're did you back. manage to get Holden to withdraw the price on my head? Uh... He, he called the bounty off? That's well, wonderful. I only wish I had off. something to That's give you as a reward. That's almost the same thing, right? Wait a minute. I know. I don't have many credits, but there is something I can give you. A it's family a family heirloom. heirloom. You say. It's not much, but it's something. Uh, hmm, uh. All right. I could use whatever that family heirloom is, but I'm supposed to be I can good. never truly repay you for helping me, but you'll always have my thanks for what you did. And that's probably what got me the light side points. And some bonus XP. By the way, is there any boxes in here? No, oh, oh no, there is a bag. It's in the bag. How did I not loot that earlier? Alright. So that takes care of that. I don't really need to go back to the hideout. So, you're going to transmit me back to where we left off? Yes. Sweet. So, we've got the assassin bounty, Bendax bounty. I guess we're gonna have to keep poking around down here. Talk to all the bounty hunters, we talk to the citizen. We've been in there talking to the funky alien. We've been in there and got that squared away. So. Time to head on out. And make our way further down the hallway. <laughs> I remember when I was doing a quick run through to learn the controls a little bit better and all that good fun stuff. And I didn't realize that Hidden Beck was the name of the gang. I just saw Hidden Beck Lookout. I'm like, how hidden is it if you got a lookout with the name right over the door? Hey, you can't just <laughs> walk in here. This is the Hidden Beck base. How do I know you're not a Volker spy sent to kill Gadon Thek? A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days the of the Hidden Beck's folk. open door policy are gone. Between the Sith Conquest no. and the Vulcra Gang War, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. Yeah. Maybe well, I could be enough. We do need all the help we can get. <laughs> and you don't look like you're with the Vulcan's order. We don't trust Besides, anybody. It's not like you Maybe do I could be a sore. in the oh, heart of his own in. base. Not with Zedra watching his back. <laughs> Go in and speak to Gadon if you want. Wow. Just remember if, the if that's on your, your best uh, behavior, high the level of security. Um, I think I think I know why you guys are having trouble. Just saying. That's uh. Hmm. Hmm. Pretty sure all you random same name. I noticed that they shoot at everybody. I was hoping something more useful. Uh -oh. This is where the Alright, uh... 
I think I've talked to. Her. Yeah. Hold it right there. Who are you? Uh -huh. And what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Vedra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. You don't know. It'd be I mean, a suicide you're relying on You're too that, trusting, but... Gadden. Breshek and his Vulkers want you dead. Anyone we I don't know is a potential too threat, too and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start my attacking job. strangers on site, Zerdra? Like the Vulkers do? I will yeah. never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, As but I've got my eye on you. You, you try anything and you'll be vaporized <laughs> before you can say Vulkar spy. Jeez, lady. You'll have to forgive right. Zerdra. Ever since Bredrick and the Vulkers began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. Not that overzealous. I mean, Sith I'm here. Things. In sort of Zerdra no seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, now, Mr. Two Blasters behind me you? probably isn't, you know, that far away either. Alright, how can I help? Start Ooh, with the escape, escape pods. pods. You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the upper city about them as well. But you don't look like you're you with the look Sith. Like you're with the they Sith. might be spies, Gadden. They might be working <laughs> for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has his own agenda. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcans okay. stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. Well, this is how this is going to go. Too bad we didn't get there first, considering right. what my spies reported the Vulcans found. A female Ooh, Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. Right. So we, we made some progress on finding Bastila. Slavery. The Vulcans, however, we kind of suspected so that. They took a prisoner. Uh -oh. Normally, the Vulcans would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer mm -hmm. is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcan base on her own. She's too valuable <laughs> to leave with the Vulcan scum at the base. Of course not. Regic's probably got your Republic friend base. hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never uh, find Here it. comes that swoop race again. Uh, I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Regic's game to take over the lower city. He's uh -huh. offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual Swoop Gang race. Part of the By prize, putting up huh? such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of Could the I smaller have my eye gangs. On the prize? Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is hope. to somehow win the big season opener of the Swoop race. Mm-hmm. Okay. I might be able you to help? help you with this. If mm. you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here. And much to lose. The swoop race is for the lower yeah, city gangs only. Be good. I could trying sponsor good. you as a rider for the Hidden Bex this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, uh. you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulcans the stole the prototype from There's us. There's the catch. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory okay. in this year's swoop race. I need you to break so. into their base and steal it back. To the base. Alright. Um, I trust you. Not interested is not an option. So. Getting into the How Vulcan am I base supposed to get easy. in? The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Oh, Mission Vale. How convenient. Mission? We've met. Gadda, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored Easily. every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcan base, it's her. She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the Undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity. Mm -hmm. But you'll need some way past the Sith Guard post at the elevator. A simple disguise <laughs> might have worked on the Upper City guard, but the security down here is much of tougher. Of course. You'll need the proper Big papers to get past down it. Here. Luckily, my gang ambushed <laughs> one of the Sith patrols headed down to the I Undercity. I just so happened to have they that never thing made that you need. And their security papers Convenient fell into my hands. 
Since we're working together now, working I suppose together. I could give them to All you right. in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. <sighs> I want to know, but I really want to get moving Thanks back for the uniforms. the questing and things. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Mm-hmm. Now, you already mentioned is that there part. anything else I can do for you? All right. Uh, Your time would probably be better spent going after the prototype swoop engine the Vulcan stole from us. Yeah, and but information I'll answer your questions help me get that. <laughs> What's up with your freaky eyes, old man? No. Uh, something wrong with your eyes? No, somebody already told me that he's blinded. Uh, da, 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 da. When I Try lost my one. sight in the swoop bike accident, everyone assumed I would step down as leader of the Hidden Becks and let Brezhik, my most trusted follower, take over. But with my ocular okay. implants, I can still see well enough to lead this gang. And I knew Brezhik uh, wasn't ready to take okay. over yet. Unfortunately, Brezhik didn't agree with me. In a rage, he left to join our arch rivals, the Black Vulcans. A lot of the younger gang members Put followed him. And soon he and his followers had taken control of the Vulcan gang. Alright. Well, I start a, a war. Man. My decision was ah. a public humiliation for him. Maybe if I had stepped down, this gang war could have been avoided. Yeah. Don't fool yourself, Gadden. Brezhik exactly. wants to control the lower city gangs. If you'd step down, the he'd have led the Bex against the Vulcans. He wanted this war, one way or another. <sighs> I know your rights, Erdra. Breshik won't rest until I am dead and the Becks are no more. But it's hard to accept the truth of his betrayal. Right. Your time would probably yeah, be yeah, better yeah, yeah. spent going after the prototype swoop know, engine the Vulcan stole from going us. After the but I'll answer your questions prototype. if I can. Do the prototype. Alright, uh, so we know about the eyes, we know about the eyes. We know where to find mission, we know why there's a war. Uh, is there any not way off while the, the Sith quarantine is in place. Of course not. Even the fastest smuggler ships can't break the blockade of the fleet surrounding the planet give me without the, same the proper launch codes. The hut gave me. Any ship but for leaving free. the terrace atmosphere without the proper codes gotcha. would be instantly disintegrated by blaster cannons fired by the Sith fleet's automated mm -hmm. targeting systems. Your time right. would probably be better spent going after yeah, the prototype yeah, swoop engine of Vulcan stole every time. From us. But I'll answer your questions if I can. Alright, and... A foreign Last army one. invades Terrace, declares <laughs> martial law, and locks down all travel to and from the planet? You damn well yeah, bet I have a problem with that. If the Sith ever moved right. in down here, all the swoop gangs would unite against them. We'd use hit-and-run guerrilla tactics to pick them off. Their casualties would be enormous. Don't fool yourself. The Sith would never commit to that kind of operation. They'd, they'd probably do something much more grand and deadly. But so far, the Sith have stayed out of the Lower City. And our strength is wasted on this stupid gang war. I tried to explain this to Brezhik, but he and his Vulcans won't listen. So they wouldn't unite. All right. Feel free to come back anytime. We're not like those Vulcan savages. We're not like those Strangers savages. Strangers are welcome in the Beck base. I don't know. I wasn't feeling too welcome. Just saying. You can speak to Gadden if you want, special. but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized okay. before you can say Vulcar spy. So that's all you got. Let's go exploring. Anything to control? Uh, breaking down the doors probably going to ruin my trust, so we'll stick with the good. I hear the sound of a party. But first, the loot. Alright, do you have anything else to say? Are you going to tell me about the prototype? A lot, right? Why? Yeah, I think we kind of picked up on that one too. Who knew everything was in into techno in the future? Or a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure you gotta see things differently. Hey, I see Pizzot guards there. Can I not pick them up? Uh, I could use a little more side in my side deck. Guess not. Okay. And the security door is locked. Naturally. Alright. That's the control room door, which is locked. And this is another security door, which is locked. What else do we got? Let's fill in all the minimap. Might as well, right? And what's behind the standard door? And behind the standard door is a standard hallway. And down that standard door is a standard security door. Here's the question. Am I going to violate their trust if I go busting down security doors and things? Am I really missing out on a whole bunch of adventure? Alright. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and save the current game. Save. Overwrite. Go to... A. That way, if it royally goes sideways, we'll back up to the save. No problem. Didn't work. Impossible. Okay. Hey, where did my minion go? Okay, he's there. Good. I'm pretty sure we're going to find the other ones to be impossible, too. So, I'll go ahead and just let those lie as they are. It's always good to have a save handy anyway. Did I already try this door? Yeah, that was the control room. Okay. Alright, where's my map? Nope, nope, wrong one. That one. Alright. That's to the lower city. Come on, click on the thing. That's the main hall, that's the bar. Okay. Blues. Out to the city. Maybe we can even sing some Eagles tunes. Like in the city. No, I will not sing for you yet. I'm gonna take some voice lessons and then I'll do some singing. And this is the way we go. Alright, so... Let's toss a grenade, hit the flurry of misses, and are you able to... No, okay. You're not close enough sure. yet. Bam! Alright, let's see. Can I get you onto... Yeah. Power shot. Sure. Double team. Bam. Blurry. Switch. And he's too far away, because of course he is. Down you go! You gonna wait? Like... Ah. Alright, fine. Yes? He'll get it. Up front and everything. I like it. Alright, that's where I came from. There should be three bodies. And none of them is lootable. Naturally. Uh oh. Something going down. You guys are behind with your payments. What do you, yeah. uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? Somebody's playing a uh, little Italy. Just because he thinks he's the godfather, right? Is that what I'm hearing? They're about to make a, get made an offer they can't refuse? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Words you don't want to say. 
<laughs> okay. All right. We can do this the easy way, or we can do this the hard way. Rana no prata don't know sercha itchua penki. What on the wall? So this is to show us how big and bad Kandrus is. Gotcha. No bully mole, Raji. Johnny Tun, Turji, Chiwi, Itado. No trouble. No trouble. Here's Dad. Pala more slimo wanga kun bisching. I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candrus. Mm -hmm. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Well, already then. Those Valkers are dumber than a chorus and granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon oh. keeps his hidden Bex in line, but Brezhik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk no back down. Is that what I heard? Hmm. I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working oh, on a special I was assignment. hoping we could talk. Alright. I got a funny feeling I'll see you later too. What is down this way? Alright, some lower city apartments. Alright, let's check it out. What do we got in these apartments? Oh, hello. Chiwi Aita ka chong chi cha. Agi unko tune chuna muri ra. Tangi wama chi kuna. This is about to end badly now too. Don't keep a nonku nek abog. Chiyo kaku. Inba muri ra tona ji. Kuyami juuski chika nai. You were the two guys picking on the kid earlier, weren't you? Why do I get the feeling that you're about to get what you deserve? There's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. Just kronki to pats ni mo. <laughs> That's usually when your cold dead body is provided. Yep. Huh. Can I talk to you now? Or are you just going to say one? Or are you going to be gone? Alright, you're going to be gone. Since, uh... You're done with those guys. Did they have anything worth picking up? No? No. Okay. Alright, Slagger. Get to where you can do something at the door. Yeah. They're not there yet. So let's do this first. Oh! Well, hello, good sir. Ha! I like that. Oh! Oh! Shoot! Time to rumble. <laughs> All right. Let me go ahead and hit, hit that med pack. Loot the remains. Credits and energy shield, shock stick, and armor. That armor that I should have had on, what's his name anyway? My combat suit was okay. Oh no, it's what I ended up selling earlier, so, okay. So I got some credits, or soon to be credits. Ooh, I gotta do the demolitions thing, don't I? So who's got the demolition skills? Alright, so I've got a 9 in Demolitions, he's got a 0 in Demolitions. So, we know now who is doing the Demolitions. Are you kidding me? Alright. I'll take the med pack and the energy shield. I was hoping to deal with you guys later, but all right, that works too. All right, do I want to recover the mine? That is the higher DC. My rolls are not all that good, so let's go ahead and try, try to disable it. Are 
you kidding me? I'll take all that. Okay, I'm, I'm curious now. Uh, show feedback. Alright, defense breakdown. Lead on the Black Volker with a 31. <laughs> Attack breakdown, defense breakdown, damage breakdown. You triggered a mine. Wait a second. I got success on the save, but I still... Ah, I'm not going to try to figure it out. That's the one I looted, right? That's the one I looted. Is there another one in here? No? Alright, what's in here? Armor reinforcement and a med pack. Ooh, the armor reinforcement will bump up my armor rating. So, can I fast travel back to the hideout? No. Alright. Let me step just outside the apartments. And then fast travel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Home skill has got to level, right? Alright, let me level him up. What skills you got? You get a skill point. <laughs> Alright, what are class skills for you? Demolitions are a class skill, but you got nothing. And I'm pretty sure pumping you up one point at a time isn't going to get you that far. Stealth is a cross class, so we couldn't level that up if we wanted to. Awareness is a class skill, but uh, that's not really helping. Repair is cross glass, and you have one. Okay. Security is cross glass, and you have one. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll bump up treat injury. Okay. Beats. You are doing the double blaster thing, but you can't do the next one until level 8. You have already progressed as far as you can on blaster pistols. Uh, this is wielding a double bladed weapon or two weapons. So... All right, so what other options do we have? We could do the dueling, but that only helps if he's got one weapon, and he's clearly going down the double route. We could do toughness. That will increase his vitality and his staying power, but not really help much. We could bump up his melee, but that's not really going to help much. Uh, heavy weapons. I don't think that counts as two weapon for purposes of the other feats. And same thing with the rifle. We could do sniper shot. That doubles the crit range, uh, crit threat of ranged attacks. That's going to be a good one. We've got rapid shot, which would allow for a nice flurry. We could continue power blast, power attack. Okay, so he's got the power attack version of ranged and melee. We could get him uh, implant. That could be useful. Conditioning, not so much. Gearhead, not at all. Flurry is, requires melee, which he's not doing. Empathy is not really going to help. Crit strike. With melee weapons only. And caution, demolitions, and stealth, which I'm not leveling up on him anyway. So, the question is, do we up his power blast, add rapid shot, or add sniper shot? Uh, let's add sniper shot. 
I like having options. Okay. Accept. There you go. You're leveled up to five. I'm getting pretty close to level five. And as I mentioned in episode one, I'm going to cap. I'm going to self-impose a limit uh, to level five while I'm on Terrace, the tutorial planet. Because once you start taking Jedi levels, that's the only thing you're going to be leveling up is your Jedi level from there on out. And there is a ultimate level cap of 20 in the game. So every level beyond five that I take is another level of Jedi that I cannot take. And the Jedi levels are going to give me better utility in the long run. Uh... If you level up at the earliest opportunity as you go through Terrace, if you go through everything or close enough to it, you'll end up at level 8. So that is a difference of 3 levels. Now capping myself at 5 is going to make some of that a little difficult. So depending on how things go, I may bump myself up to 6. But we'll see how that goes. First things first, I need to return to the hideout. I've got some stuff to upgrade, and returning to the hideout automatically heals us, which is awesome. Into the hideout we go. To the workbench we go. Ooh. Did I get any upgrades for this? I would need the bonding alloy, which I did not get yet. I would need the energy projector, which I did not get yet. Alright, let's see. Ranged. What do I have for ranged upgradable? Karth's Blaster. Do I have any of the upgrade stuff? No, I haven't picked up a scope. I haven't picked up an energy seller, beam slitter, or a hair trigger. So, nothing there yet. The armor, which I know I picked up. So, that bumps me up from 5 to 7. Always nice. Okay. Alright, so there that is. While we're here... You gonna yak at me? No. Of course not. Okay. <laughs> like I have a choice. Yeah, I'm sure. It's not like I have a whole lot of option. Alright, and now... Friends... Yeah, let's transit back. And into the apartments we go. To finish exploring. Alright, so we got that first room on the left. Time for the next room on the left. This one. All right, are you in? You can do something at the door when the inevitable happens. Yeah, let's open up with that. Then we'll do the flurry of misses. All right, let's hyperblast them. Do nothing but. See how that works. Right. Bam! That was very oh, oh. Alright. That... That went well. Alright, what's in the footlocker? Some quidditch. And a med pack. Alright, let's take all that. Is there anything in this bin over here? No. Anything on the dead bodies? Nope. Alright. Next door. Oh! Alright, last time I ignored them, they came. Oh, that's the only grenade I have left. Alright. Then I guess... Come in for a power attack and start hitting up the flurries. And all right, 
That works. Sorry, I got my phone ringing off camera here. Not much I'm going to be able to do about that just yet. Oh, there we go. We got a lootable body. 20 bucks. Alright. Now, back to this door. You nearby? I'm pretty sure there's going to be somebody on the other side of that door. A gas mine. Alright. Let's try it. Didn't work out so well for me the last time. Hey! There we go. Huh. Password entry system, you say? Because this box is an older off-planet model, there is no interface for you to try and slice the system. You have to figure out the password if you want to get inside. Alright, that means that there is a password around here somewhere. Which is probably the desk that is not usually there. Alright, there's an electronic personal message. Your emails. Alright. Read the message. Hey, how's life? Heard about your brother. Left for Tantooine to become a miner. Did he at least leave Hyperdrive behind to keep you company? Uh, if you're still practicing what that blaster I gave you, remember what I taught you because you might need it. Terrace isn't like Alderaan. <laughs> it's still here. <laughs> Stay away from... Oh, wait, no. That doesn't happen until much, much later. Stay away from... All right. Uh, keep everything in the box. Nobody's going to be busting into the thing. Hope to hear from you soon, Uncle Louie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. All right, try to enter the password. What is the name of your pet? That was Hyperdrive. Who taught you to fire... All right. Try this one again. Short-term memory. <laughs> All right. Uh, or the left to become a miner. Hyperdrive was the pet. I gave you. So that would be Uncle Louie. Watch. It's going to be a different password, isn't it? All right. Try to enter the password. All right. What is the name of the pet? Hyperdrive. Who taught you to fire a blaster? My uncle. Where did your family originally come from? Alderaan. Hey! There we go. Ooh. New armor and a hundred credits. I get some credits. Okay. Upgradable. Upgradable. Defense bonus 5. That's only 7 because of the mod, so I can move that mod over. Requires light armor, light armor. Okay, so this is the same thing, just a different model. Alright. Anything else worth doing? Alright, I still got the energy shield. No belts. Not doing the offhand weapon yet. Alright. No implant. Nothing on the head. But I do want to give you an energy shield before I forget. Got a bonus of six. Hmm. I'm drop it down by one, but I will be able to upgrade it later. Uh, I'm going to get some more people, so let me leave that as it is for now. Alright, Karth's Pastor. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. And that's just a standard blaster pistol, right? Yep. Okay. Okay. 
That means I got some more credits then. Alright, further on down the road. There another patrol. No other patrol yet. Alright. Alright, before I open this door, let me save. Save. Yeah, I'll just overwrite it as is. And I'm going to switch to intermission because. I need to feed Jabba. Jabba the puppy, not Jabba the hut. So let me uh, put up the intermission graphic and I shall be right back. Okay, there we go. Back to the game. The puppy has been fed. You might even hear the sounds of that in the background. Sorry about that. Alright, so no let's unlock the door. Got it. Oh! Stop right there, or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes. That would be my now, assassin. What are you doing here? Okay. Alright, I'm not going to leave with the bounty. Well, go explore somewhere else. There's nothing go interesting for you here. Somewhere else. This is your only warning. Your if you bother me warning. again, you won't walk out of here alive. I'm hearing a lot of talk from you, lady, but... Um... I gave you a chance to get out of here and leave me alone. But I guess you're just too stupid to take it. Now you'll <laughs> see why I'm the most dangerous <laughs> assassin on Taris. Yakety yakety yak. All I hear is talk. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. And let's get you to start doing a couple of sniper shots and a power blast just in case. Bam. Ready. You asked for this. Wait a second. Because I'm probably in the middle of that flurry. All right. Well, I guess that on the list of things to do, I will try another power attack and back to the flurry misses. Ooh. Matter of fact, I need to go over to you, good sir. Ooh. Oh, oh, wrong. Click there. Then I click there. All right. I guess I don't have a chance to uh, get rid of that. And then we'll do that. Sure. Okay. Stay alive. Bam. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. What you got for loot? Ooh, scope. I could use that. An adrenaline amplifier. That sounds promising. 
Neural band, that sounds even more promising. All right, so. And we got a footlocker to loot too. Okay, some credits, some parts, some computer spikes. I will take all of those, please. All right, let's equip some gear. All right, the cardio gives me that. All right, neural band. What does that do? Increases your will save. <laughs> Developed after the XR Kun War, this item bolsters the willpower of the user by electri electrically reinforcing established mental patterns. Republic troops called it Little Shocky. <laughs> All right. I have not yet seen much that requires the use of a will save, but I've never said no to bonuses when there's no harm in not doing it. All right, what's the adrenaline app? All right, reflex save. That I could use. Because the, uh, the reflex is a little bit low. We saw that with the uh, mine earlier. This device improves the wearer's reflexes by triggering prolonged bursts of adrenaline. It has been thought to be perfectly safe with only a few instances of uncontrolled muscle spasms. This is like the warning on the medication you see at the doctor's office or something like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, another shock stick. Uh, I think I've looked at everything else that's there. Yeah, the Ion Blaster, the Ion Grenade, which is the only grenade I have left that is a shame. And, yeah. I'm going to show those as purple until I actually take a look at them. Which is kind of weird, because most of the yeah, scope increases the range, so I can put that. Those are my Sith Papers. Alright. Alright, so... A little wounded. I've got some upgrades that will help. That, that's what I forgot to do. What, how, what I want to do is find out if the scope, which increases the accuracy of certain blaster types, increasing the user's effectiveness with sniper attacks. Ooh. Yes. So that would help Mr. Sniper behind me. So, do I want to med pack it up? I've got 18 of those. <laughs> so far, so good. How are you doing today, Heavy Metal Koala? Coda, Coda, sorry. Um, heavy Metal Coda. I'm trying to decide if I need to med pack it up and head or fast travel back to the base. Because uh, fast travel is a free heal. But that's load time and transit time. On the other hand, I need the workbench in there to upgrade. Yeah, that's the idea behind the series. To, you know, take a look at some old games that I haven't seen a little love in a while. And um, this is the one I'm starting off with. I'm going to take it at a bit of a medium pace. So, you know, I'm not going to try to speed run through it. But I'm also not going to, uh, to linger too long. <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty good armor set. Yeah, and I'm going to fast travel back because I definitely want to upgrade my minion's uh, rifle over there. And the free heal helps. <laughs> Let's head back to the workbench. And yes, please. Let's upgrade. Attack bonus one. Absolutely. That's all I picked up there so far. I know I've got the upgraded armor, but I don't think I got any parts for that. Absolutely. Especially when he's back. <laughs> when he's your backup, you know what I mean? Got to keep that backup working. Alright, let's go back. Let's finish clearing out those apartments. I am looking forward to when I get the Wookiee on the team. If I remember right, that is coming up a little bit later. Alright, and back into the apartments. Oh, yeah, definitely going through a light side playthrough. Um, 
in keeping with the D and D th- mechanics behind the game, I am trying to play this character as a neutral good character. So uh, I'm not opposed to busting down doors if that's what it takes, but uh, I'm not going to go out of my way to do illegal things either. And I'm going to try to stick mostly to the good stuff. I'm pretty sure that sooner or later somebody's going to test my resolve and I just might give in to that impulse to uh, not do so much. But, uh, hasn't happened yet. Since we, uh, there we go. Sniper sure. up, good sir. <laughs> that went better. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much like that. Alright, spikes and parts and credits, oh my. That works for me. Alright, nothing in that box. And I think this completes, yeah, this completes the tour of the apartments. <laughs> Alright, now we need to head off and down this way. Because I think we still got one more, con uh, that's right, the other contract we get to do is for Bendak Starkiller. And I'm not going to deal with you, good sir. Well, this guy gets in range, so let me go a little bit closer. And now we'll start that. And we'll get you to come in here and... Oof. I hate that that's the only grenade. I should have gone shopping. And power blast that. Ready. Sure. I didn't realize that there was a third one that was on the books. I, I knew there was this one in the sequel, and I know there was a couple other games along that way. Uh oh, he's stunned. That's never good. Uh oh, he's back. Sweet. Right. Have a nice night. I do this every Thursday starting at 6 p.m. Eastern, so, uh,. Feel free to drop on and check on by. I also upload the replays to YouTube. So if you look for Anon Jr. on YouTube, you should find my channel. If I can get 100 people subscribing to the channel, I can get a custom URL, which would help make it easier for people to find that too. So uh, have fun. Good luck. And looks like Karth wants me to talk to him. And the most opportune, I mean, yeah, right there in front of the Sith. Of course you want to chat. All right, yes, let's chat. Let's do this. All right. Uh, what, do do? Do oh, what do you want to discuss? What do you want to discuss? So, tell me about your issues. I don't really understand where I was coming from. Let me try and explain. You got the skills of an elite commando, and you saved my butt more than once. Between that and your facility with languages, I'm lucky you're here. But that doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop watching you being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. Just not built that way. Alright. What you, did uh, I do? You haven't done anything yet. Haven't done anything but there's yet. no guarantee that you won't mm. do anything in the future. I've been betrayed before I've been by people. Before. And, I won't happen and thank you for the follow. I do a couple other game streams during the week too. Minecraft on Tuesdays at seven, World of Tanks on Fridays at seven. And I'm doing this series Thursdays at 6, so I can get the extra hour in. And, uh, hope you enjoy. I don't know that you'll betray me, but there are no guarantees. Not for you, not for me. You don't have to take it personally. Alright, uh, mm -hmm. Ooh, do I want to take that tack? Or do I want to try that? Um, yeah, let's well, take it personally. Well, that's bad then, because I'm not going to change. <laughs> okay. No, I don't want to talk about it. What I want is to save the galaxy, <laughs> if that's even possible. Why is whether or not I trust you or anyone so damned important? Dude, what, you're why the do one you who care? wanted to talk we to me. We don't have time for this. So can we please get... just drop it for now? Can we pick okay. it up later if you really must? I'm, I want to get know. underway. We'll pick it up later. I mean, you're the one who wanted to stop in the middle of the gangster-ridden hallway with the Sith Wolf <laughs> standing right over there and having a little therapy session. Only those with official Sith business are allowed into the Undercity. Unless you 
got the proper right. security papers, you better just turn mm, around and go back the way you came. I just realized I probably ought to head back to... Uh, I should probably go back see. and raid the uh, hidden yeah, back... To be in or order. the uh, Volker okay, base before I do want. this, but... Can't say I envy you, though. The Undercity is crawling with mutants. Yeah. Rackles, well, let me, let me dash down to the other end of the hall and take care of that. There, shoot first and ask questions later. Then I'll deal with this over here. Alright, I'll be back good, sir. You've got my papers. Ooh. Do I want to handle that, though? Because as soon as I do the base, that's going to trigger the swoop race. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll keep going down this way. And I'll keep heading down this way. Let's go take a look at what's under there. What you got down that elevator? Death and destruction, right? <laughs> oh. You there, upworlder! Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. Yeah, oh, this is so our elevator. elevator trolls. If you use it, you gotta toll. give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. Five you credits. Said it. That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits. I'm now I'm playing neutral good, so I'm not gonna threaten them. But uh Nah, I don't want to pay it off. Let me we stall. We are the outcasts, banished and reviled by the those who dwell said. above. Here in the filth and darkness, we claw out a wretched existence. No, 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 no. You, you gotta play a metal tune. Just to survive long It'll enough to see another play some death metal. Day. This One is of you guys our work village. Growling, though. We live here in Pitch the Underdark. Pitch is a little city. too high. <laughs> you have to pay us. Five credits for using our elevator. Five credits, huh? All right, I could be belligerent, but I haven't given everybody else money, so you know what? Let me try this in a play. Credits, my brother. We have All right, credits. Go on. Now Get out of here. You bother me, kid. You bother medicine. me. Hush. <laughs> the others will hear us. They'll want our credits. We have to hide them. Go on, you two. Get out of here. Oh, now Sorry you show that. up. All These right. two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. Oh, I know. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad Be your little bad. welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. All right. My Be name nice. is Selina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've, I've, never, I've never seen, seen it. it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? Uh, let's try this. Not to you, I suppose, but you're okay. probably used to its beauty by now. I was trying to downplay that, but all right, surface, that works. Sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, yeah. the stars. It all sounds so... You're not missing too much there, lady. So, so wonderful. Gendar, the, the leader Sith. of our village... The Tells gang me I should wars. Spend more time trying to improve things down here, and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You <laughs> probably right. think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. Dream a little but dream. When I was little, but you got to play Van Halen while you do it. of what it was like up there. <laughs> All right. So who's Rukil? Is the oldest man in the village. Rukil. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like if to listen to his tales about the promised like land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to All make right. the Undercity seem less, less dark. dark somehow. And what it's, is this promised land? It's just a story land. to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes, Sometimes I, can I can almost believe, believe it myself, myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess we have All to right. make the best of what we have, though. If we you really to want to learn though. more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukia. All right, where can I He's find him? He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move By too far. By wandering, do you mean He's standing in a bones. fixed place so he's, he's easy to find in future adventures? Old. The children so laugh at hoping. him, and people think he's crazy because of his stories about the Promised Land, but right. he's really just a All right, since a quest about to happen. All right, I've already asked you about that. Uh... 
He'll be somewhere in the village. I couldn't say where for sure. He's always okay. busy doing whatever he can to make the lives of the other villagers easier. Oh, that's easier. right. That's the guy in charge. Uh, do you know? I don't know about anything about pods? that, but maybe Gendar nope. could Gendar. help you. Sorry. You Is there anything else? Is there you anything need? else you need? Uh, I've already asked about Gendar. I've already asked about Rukil. What about some other people? There were quite a people? few people from the surface marching through the village, but none of them yeah. bothered to talk to me. Gendar might know more about them. Okay. Um, well, I was born here for starters. My parents were outcasts. Tell me about the place, but banished okay. to the Undercity for some crime or other. They uh, never really like to talk little. about it. Everyone here is an outcast. Or the descendants of one. It's tough down here, but we survive. I guess it's easier for me since I've never known anything different. Some of the people have given up all hope. They've become bitter and depressed. Bitter and depressed. But most of us are good people, despite what our ancestors so I need may to bring have done. Gendar could probably next. tell you more, or maybe Rukil. You could talk to them if you want. Okay. And that looks like all the questions oh, I can ask okay. you. Oh, okay. So. Well, if you ever need anything, oh, or I mean, if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. Again, if you want, but uh. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the upworld. All right. Oh, because I gave those guys the money. All right, let's start filling in our mini map. Get a better sense of what's where. Except I'm pretty sure there's nothing. Yeah, no, that's not a that's not a thing you can do. That's not a thing you can do. You're in my way. And up and up we go. Right. All right. So let's see what random outcast woman has to say. The rat ghouls will devour us all. Oh, Unless us we all. starve to death first. Alright. Alright, well, you... Oh, you're named. That must be hey, something important. You ain't from the village. <laughs> you're from the upworld, ain't you? Yes. Yeah. You've got credits, I bet. Watch I look yourself. like a face that hasn't There's walked around. There's something slimy about this guy. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. My name's Saigir. I run a little salvage little shop salvage. here. You want to buy something from my store? I got some good deals. <laughs> if a villager comes across any useful store. salvage in the Undercity, they bring it to me. Every so often, okay. members from the lower city gangs come down to, so the trade, gangs come for down to trade for salvage. They'll exchange food right. and medicine for engine parts, old blasters, and the like. Sometimes right. they even give me credits if I have some really good stuff. Oh, you better ask Gendar. See Gendar. He's the okay. spokesman for the village. I just run the store. <laughs> I don't want to make him mad by answering any questions. Okay, gotcha. Gendar already doesn't like me. Alright, why does he like? I can't imagine why he doesn't like me. Yeah, the profits of my store with the yeah, whole yeah, I kind of figured it was going to be something you like that. We're all in this together, so it should be fair share, and share and like, share right? like. But I'm the one who runs the store. I'm the one, I'm who, makes the the one the who makes the deals. The others just bring me salvage to trade with the upworlders. Why should they get anything? That is, yeah, no, that's, <laughs> yeah. Hey, you don't know what it's like down here. I have to claw and scrape to survive. Nobody else will look out so for me. Everybody else. Gendar doesn't agree with my philosophy. He caught yeah, me holding supplies a while back. I could be helping he with everybody. Figured I'd wait until else. food was scarce and then I could offer it to people who'd follow me instead of Gendar. Then I'd be the leader. But Gendar uh -huh. made me share my hoard. Ever since then, he hasn't trusted me. I can't imagine me. why he doesn't he trust keeps you. Me around because of my store, though. Without it, this village wouldn't stand a chance. Okay. All right. What you got in your the inventory? Best stuff. Mostly salvage and such, but the price but the is prices right. Are right. Hmm. Uh. Huh. Okay. Ooh. Neutralized known poisons. If I remember right, I'll probably need that. All right, so you got some Pazat cards. I've already got the vibration cell in the sword I've got. I've already got a scope in Karth's blaster. 
This is an implant level two, which I cannot use yet. I could use some frag grenades. That does come in handy. Ooh. That, that might be, ooh, for 750 though? Uh, I don't know that I can spend the money on that just yet. I'll have to remember that you got that though. Because that, that would help upgrade uh, Karth there. At least his offhand weapon. So. And the usual sword, quarterstaff. Don't really need that. I don't, haven't run into too many computer spikes yet. 30 credits. Alright, I got ripped off at the uh, at the other place, but I got 19 med packs, so I'm not too too worried about that. You only gonna give me 10? Yeah, I think I got a better, better price out of somebody else. That's tempting, but no. Uh, yep, no, I don't. I don't like the prices you're buying for. Alright. Let me go ahead and... Uh, I don't like the prices, but... I'm pretty sure I'm going to need a couple of antidotes. Yeah. More than I wanted to spend, but... Alright, what's next? Oh, you know what I haven't done? I haven't saved in a while. I haven't been saving much as I've been going through this, and that seems like a bad idea. So, let me uh, remind me every now and again to do a save. All right. What do hurry, you guys have to do? Hurry, oh. I can hear it coming. He'll never make it. He's doomed. Ugh. I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hindar, run! run. Fly, you fool. Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! Uh, I... I can't! The Rackles are too close! The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't do this! It isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate! Hindar will die if he and doesn't! The I can't look like open the right gate! There, so Not while the Rackles are so near! I guess. Uh, no. You'd risk your life for yeah. a stranger? <laughs> I You're brave, Upworlder. I'll open the gate for you, but you gotta be quick. In a few seconds, I must close and lock it again. Alright, let's do this. Alright, so he's there. Is that really the only one I gotta worry about? Alright. Last power attack. And let's get you doing the snipery thing. Bam. I'm leaving my options open. Let's go! Okay. Oh. How'd you like that? Who's this my guy that got poisoned? There we go. Ooh. And let me what? switch to Karth. Let me get a antidote kit. Bam. Yes? Bam. All right. You uh, gonna let us back in? Thank you. Right. I can't thank you enough for saving me, Upworlder. If I had anything but these rags on my back, it would be yours. But we have nothing. I still have you, Hindar. That's all I need. Aww. Let's go back to the village. All right. That works. Thank you, about you for saving Hendar. You are braver than I, Upworlder. Maybe we outcasts have lived too long in selfish so, uh, fear. Perhaps we can learn a lesson from your brave actions. <laughs> but enough of my ramblings. I don't think Is I there need something that. you need, Upworlder? I need information. Who I'm Trowin from the Outcast Village. It's my Who job to guard the gates. Are you? See, they are locked to protect us from the rat ghouls. Okay. <laughs> I just guard the gates. Gendar is the leader right, of the Gendar. village, Upworlder. See Gendar. You should speak to him if you have any questions. That seems to be the answer to just about everything. See Gendar. Goodbye, okay. Upworlder. Goodbye while I go see Gendar. 
Alright, and where's my stairs? There's my stairs. And you're the rotten little sneak. You're a random I had fine outcast. clothes. Beautiful bed. Now I wear rat. Hey there, Upworlder. You want to see what I got for sale in my inventory? Or do you Actually, need no. Else? I intentionally walked by you. Nope. Yeah, okay. You come back and see me if you want a deal. Yeah. If that ever happens. The rat you, ghoul disease can infect you. It can transform mm -hmm. you into one of those monsters. I've seen it happen. They say anyone bitten by a rat ghoul will become a rat ghoul themselves. Hello again. I'm glad you uh -huh. came back. It's kind of neat to speak oh, to no, someone. Oh, no, you're the from lady the from the beginning. World. I thought you were the lady who was open. I just said. You? No. No oh, questions. Okay. Well, if you ever need anything, just or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the upworld. Alright. And nothing there. There's another random outcast. And I think these are the people I need to talk to. So. Outcast woman. Outcast man. Greetings, Upworld. We rarely Hello. see your kind here in Ender City. I find it strange that so many of you have come so down from the surface recently. Down. No offense, it's almost like it's I part of the why plot. People normally avoid this place. <laughs> why have you come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. Well. Uh, I would like Our to get some information from you. Visitors from the surface recently. Armored troops, swoop gang members, mercenaries. They come to search our sunless search world. Search even the sewers. They're even yes. searching the sewers. About the things that they're searching for. Alright, uh... Yes, I've seen this Twi'lek many times, though I've never spoken to her. She and her Wookiee companion okay, so often she's pass through our village the on their way to explore the sewers. How can there I get to the sewers? There are two entrances into the sewers from the Undercity. One to the northeast of our village, yeah, the other I, to I the southeast. I kind of figured the sewers were dangerous. But the sewers are dangerous, Upworlder. If you dare to travel Very those dangerous. dark tunnels, you would you be wise first. to go heavily armed. <laughs> Unless you wish to become a meal for the rock ghouls and the other foul creatures. Well, the idea is to go heavily armed. Ask your All questions, right. Upworlder. I will answer to the best of my knowledge, though I know little beyond the borders of the Undercity. So, we already asked about mission. Let's go. We already asked about the Upworlders who came through. The what rock about the are rock monsters, ghouls? Hideous mutations who feast on the flesh of our villagers. Their diseased jaws can infect those they attack, uh -huh. transforming the victim into one of those abominations. We know one of no of cure for the disease, and for the good of the village, we must banish any who become infected, Aww. lest they transform and turn on us. Right. Ask your questions, Upworlder. I will answer to the best of my knowledge, though I know little beyond the borders of the Undercity. Alright, we got the Rackles, the Upworlders, what about we you We are the people? outcasts, shunned from the surface for our crimes and Banded banished here to, to the Undercity. Village. We banded so together to form this village what, uh, that we might survive in this hostile said. environment. I am Gendar, okay. leader of this village. As my I father was, and as was his father before him. Many of us have been here for generations. Our ancestors cast down long ago. There is no return right. to the surface for us or our descendants. But somehow we managed to I've never understood the filth why there is no return. Deadly I mean, I know they're outcasts in the sense that they're cast out, but um, is there really? Is there really Life no down option? Here can be difficult. It can like, break you the can't spirit. earn your way back. Many you can't bribe your way back. You can't hopeless, fight your way back. Especially those newly cast out. I mean, the next level up doesn't on, seem like uh, you to gotta worry too much. We have. A lot of empty apartments there, dude. We will find a better life. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm starting to sound like Rue Kill. All right. Uh, ooh, yes. Let's ask the oldest about man in the village. He's a kind soul, but I'm afraid he's growing kind of weary soul. of this world. He dreams of escaping, of finding a better world. If you wish to speak to him, you can probably find him wandering about the is village. Is he wandering, or As is I he said, like standing man, right behind me? He does I kind of get the feeling he's standing right behind me. All right. So we got the rackles. That's going to be the same the rackle rackle information. Are monsters. Yeah, that's going to be the same mutations who feed. We know of no cure right, for the disease no and for the good. Okay. I As think you I'll wish be going now. Order. Should you have need of anything else, Thank come you, speak sir. to me. I represent the entire village and I will do my best to help you however I can. 
Hey, Rukil. The wandering guy you, who stands you right come there. from the world above. Is this the time of destiny then? Is this a uh, portent of the salvation of my people? The portent or merely of Merely another false sign to mislead us from the path. Are you the herald of prophecy? The beacon to guide us through the darkness? Since I'm or the hero of the game, I probably another harbinger of shattered am. dreams and unfulfilled promises. No, no. Be careful. This well, be only if I mess this one up. Speak to me, Upworlder. Tell me what fate you fate? unleash upon us. Salvation Well, or hopefully damnation. I'll find whatever Speak, MacGuffins you're asking you. me to find. Uh, okay. A question. You are uncertain, bewildered, perplexed. Understandable, I suppose. Even after a hundred years of life, I myself still become Dude. confused at times. Perhaps I can make things more clear. I am far less than half Some a hundred, and I am confused least. many My times. My name is Rukil, the oldest right. outcast here in the village. Rukil Wrinkleskin, Winkle the skin. children call me sometimes. Okay, Rumble Skullskin. Once, I was honored for my wisdom. But over time, the villagers fell away from well, the you know, the mental path. stats do go up as you Eventually, age. There was you are only venerable a single now. That's what, a plus three to wisdom? And now That's she not bad. Is gone too. Uh oh. Alright, uh, apprentice or the path? Apprentice. My apprentice is, is lost. lost. I sent her out into the undercity to find. Well, I cannot tell you. Uh, not yet. Then I can't help you Sadly, if you can't tell me. My apprentice has not returned. Not returned. Please, but... Upworlder. Will you help, will you an, help old an old man? man? Will you seek out my apprentice in the undercity? Her name is Malia. Mela. I must know of her fate, whatever it may be. I must know right. what she found. I must found. know what she found. Alright, um, yes, of course I'll help. Finding her may be difficult. Malia could be anywhere in the Undercity. But if you will find her, I will well, at least we narrowed it down to, to the Undercity, true right? Savior. Well, Only I then her up in the can I reveal my secret knowledge to you. All right, uh, all right. I'll be back. If I wish you luck, it. Upworlder. Come speak to me again once you have discovered the, fate, discovered of the my fate of my apprentice. All right. Uh, I really want to ask you if you had any other questions, but I suspect you're not going to say anything until I get the journals. Greetings but once more, try. Upworlder. Do you bring you news bring of, my of my apprentice? Have you discovered her fate and proved yourself to be a true savior of my people? All right, I wanted to ask you some questions. You seek my wisdom, but I dare not no. share my knowledge okay. with you. Not right. yet. So not until I can't you skip prove step yourself to, to be the one gotcha. foretold, the one who will guide us this to salvation. Find my apprentice. Find Discover my apprentice. what fate has befallen her, and I will know you are worthy. And not another false prophet, false prophet sent to mislead, my, mislead people. my people. All right. I wish you luck, Upworlder. Yep. Since you're not going to say anything else until I do. Ooh, a healer. That could be useful. Wait, uh, Upworlder. You can't go through this gate. The there travel. is too much danger and suffering beyond. For your own yeah. sake, turn back. Turn back. Uh, da -da -da -da. The villagers infected with the Rukgul disease are quarantined beyond this gate. It's only a matter of time until okay. they transform into horrible creatures that would destroy us all. So you just lock them away in a cage? For the sake of the village, okay, we have to Rukguls keep the infected yet. ones locked away. And when they they're finally the do transform ones. into Rukguls, we'll let them destroy each other. Ooh. That's, uh... That's kind of rough. Nothing can be done for the infected villagers. Even the serum right. to counteract the Rakgul disease wouldn't be any use now. Nobody would be Wait. foolish enough to risk going into the pens to give them the cure. Oh, okay. The infected ones could transform so the into Rakgul and enough. attack it's them at just any that moment. Nobody's gonna go in there and give it to them. Uh, all right. If you have I questions, have you should speak right to Gendar. So He's the leader of this them. village. All my attention has to stay focused on trying to ease the suffering of those within the village. But despite my medical okay. training, there is nothing I can do to help the poor souls locked on the other side of this gate. Oh, don't worry. I'll fix that one, too. Alright. I need some healing. We got a journal entry. Everything's better. 
we're going to save the game. Yep. I'm not keeping 52 dozen different saves, so we'll just overwrite that one. And we'll deal with those guys later. As soon as I find the serum, since everybody's asking about it, I'm pretty sure that's going to be on the agenda. That's the elevator back to the top, so... Let's check the... no, that's not the map. Alright, that's the information about the infected outcast. That's the information about the apprentice. And Karth. Yeah. This is everything I'm going to be able to do in the village for now. 8.30, so we can at least do a little bit of clearing stuff out. Before we call it a night. So, let's do a little combat, shall we? Let's do a little exploring, to the left or to the right. There are Sith off to the right. They have the serum. One of them does. At least that was my last Please, bit of you information. Have to help me. Uh oh. Nobody else is gonna help me. Even the Vex won't help me. But I can't just leave him there. He, he's my friend. You'll help me, won't you? Hey, I was looking for you. It's Zalbar. He's in trouble. Big trouble. You we know it's trouble when him. a Wookiee's in trouble. If we don't, they'll sell him into slavery. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. Me, me and Zalbar were just your wandering own. around here in the Undercity. You know, looking just for stuff we could find. Wandering just around. Kind of exploring. We do it all the time. I As one does. At your side, you've got to figure you can handle the odd rat ghoul attack. Only this time, yeah. they were waiting for us. Gamorrean slave Ooh. hunters. We didn't even the have Gamorreans. a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get All away. Right. They're going to sell him to a slaver. I just know it. Do you know? Yeah. You know I don't know for him. sure, but those Gamorians like to hang out in the sewers. The stink reminds them of home, I guess. <laughs> That's probably where they took Big Z. Alright, uh... Not gonna do that. I don't have time. Not gonna suggest you go to the Bex. You already said that they wouldn't help you. Not gonna say wait here, so it's let's barter. As soon All as right. we get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Volker base. Now come okay. on! Cool. We have to find Zalba before they sell him to slavers, or worse! That's right, I gotta find you know her before I get into the Volker base. The Gamorreans anyway. make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll find Zalbar. <laughs> and that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the, the Volker compound. entrance. Alright. Got some XP. Alright. And she's probably going to level up by virtue of being in the group. They want me to level up, and this will be the last level up until I get off Terrace. Or at least I am tentatively, tentatively planning on this being the last level up before I get off Terrace. Because again, the idea is I only want five levels of Scout, so I will have 15 levels worth of Jedi. Let's level up. What skills do I get? I'm going to bump up the computer use and the demolitions, because that really would have been in handy. And the repair. Do I want the treat injury or the persuade? The persuade is cross-class, and I've only got one point left on that one. Security, no. Aware, alright, so I could do awareness or treat injury. Uh, since Treat Injury helps with the med packs, I'm going to bump up Treat Injury just a little bit more. There we go. I get to pick a feat. Ooh. Do I want to continue improve dueling? I could take the melee or the blaster, but again, lightsaber is a separate one, so I'm not going to do that. Uh... Uncanny dodge, too. Nah, not so much. I could work with the improved flurry, which goes so the minus four to defense drops to a minus two. Yeah. 
That would be nice given as much as I use the flurry. But the question is, is do I want to... Alright, so that reduces the penalty. Yeah. That drops the penalty to minus four, minus four. Or minus two, minus four, if the offhand weapon is balanced. I think I'm going to finish up this improved dueling because that increases my attack and defense, and it applies to both ranged and melee. I think that's going to give me the better overall. I really could do the extra improved power attack. That would be useful. That, what does that change? That plus five to damage, minus three to hit. And that brings it to plus eight to damage, minus three to hit. All right. That increases the damage of the power attack, which would be good. I am not doing rapid shot because I'm not doing blastery stuff. Uh, and flurry which I do use a lot of, so I can make an extra attack, minus four to defense, and for three seconds afterwards, and minus four to all penalty, all right, and that, go so from a minus four to defense to a minus two to defense, and a minus two to attacks, yeah. Oof. Okay, so do I want to bump up the power attack or flurry, which I use a lot of, or do I want to increase my defense? Because I have been getting hit a fair amount. That's not helping. But on the other hand, it doesn't matter how good my defense is if I cannot take them out. I use the flurry a little bit more than the power attack. But that's going to hit my defense for three seconds. That's going to hit my defense. No, oh, that doesn't hit my defense. That's just a minus five to damage with minus three to hit. You know what? Really want to do the dueling. The improved dueling. But, uh... I might choose that one later. I think I'm going to get a little bit more out of the power attack. Well, either the power attack or the flurry. Because I use those a little bit more. Power attack has no penalty to defense. It just lowers the two hit. Two hits, not that bad so f Well, I mean, except for my dice rolls. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and take the flurry. Let's see. Yeah. Let's take the flurry. Minus penalty. Uh, that cuts the penalty to attacks. That cuts the penalties to defense. Of course, <laughs> that penalty to def defense is probably why I'm getting hit all the time. And the dueling... The dueling would that would bump the bonus from one to two. All right, so that would yeah no 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 I'll stick with the uh, I'll stick with the improved flurry. And here's my reasoning. I use the current flurry a lot to get in the extra attack. It's a numbers game. The more attacks, the more chances to hit, the more chances to hit, the more chances to do damage. And this is giving me a minus four to defense. Dueling is only going to increase my defense by one more than other all other factors aside. So that means that brings my penalty to, for using Flurry to minus three if I improve the dueling. 
whereas that's going to cut it down to a minus two. So the uh, hit to defense is far less if I improve flurry than if I improve dueling. And the attack penalty goes from a minus four penalty to a minus two, whereas flirt, whereas dueling's only going to increase my bonus by one. So again, I'm lessening the penalty more by choosing improve flurry than I am by improving dueling. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, no, add it. I want the flurry. All right. Bam. Are you leveling up? No. Are you leveling up? Yes. Ooh, that's right. Uh, hmm. All right, wisdom is will. Although, that's not really your thing. Intelligence would get you more skill points, not now, but at level 8, which would be useful. Con would get your hit points up, which you desperately, desperately need. You're not melee. Not even a little bit. So strength isn't going to help. Dex is going to help a lot. So the question is Dex, Constitution, or Intelligence? Playing the, the high skill class, so you probably got a lot of skill points. Intelligence will help that. But I'm not always going to have you. Uh, let's get the constitution up because you really do need the hit points. All right, skills. And we'll absolutely bump up demolitions and stealth and awareness and security. And nope, okay. So I'm not going to be able to bump all those. Let me drop security by one. And do I want to do repair or treat injury? No. Wow. I can't believe I can't up that one. Oh, no, no. Okay. Four, five, six, seven. Half a seven is... Yeah, okay. Um, I just realized I didn't complete that thought out loud. Um, the cap on the number of skill points you can have in any skill is your class, your character level, plus three. So as a fourth level character, that would put a cap at seven, and that is for your class skills. Your cross class skills is half that. So half of seven would be 3.5. In pen and paper D&D, &D, you could do a 0.5, uh, you don't get much for it, but you could do that. And it looks like the game will not let you do a 0.5. So either you bump it up or you don't. So treat injury is not an option right now. Do I want to add more to computer use or do I want to start upping persuade a little bit? I'm actually kind of surprised that it won't let me upgrade persuade though. But then again, she's not going to be the lead in talking, so... Uh, let's upgrade computer use because we've already got a decent investment in that and uh, I got a funny feeling I'll be picking up somebody with a far better repair later on so we'll go okay and accept that brings you up to level four that leaves you at level five and I'm at level five so while I got you uh, da, 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 da. no implants uh, no we already got energy shields and all that good stuff so you've got one blaster let's get you an energy shield and let's get you some armor do I want to give you the combat suit or the republic armor huh it's only a one point difference and I think I'm going to save the Republic armor for somebody else. Especially since you're going to be high enough dex that the better max dex bonus would, is going to be better. So let's get you some armor. Do I want to give you another weapon? That depends. I forgot to check. 
Do you, uh, all right, you are dueling. Got the scoundrel and the sneak attack and the weapons proficiencies, and you are also sniping. You got the critical strike. Okay, so you got the two different crit ones. Demolitions and stealth. Okay, and you're stuck with light armor, period, full stop. My point being is that you are better served by having a really good one-handed weapon. So, let's compare. You got a standard blaster pistol. That, oh, nice. So you've got an upgradable melee weapon. All right. I'll have to see if that's better than my current upgradable weapon. But you've got what looks like a standard blaster pistol. 1 to 6, plus 7, 1 to 6, plus 7. I give you a blaster rifle, but no. No, we'll leave you where you're at as far as that goes. And now, you've got a full party. Alright. Now, where were we? Trying to hunt down a couple of Sith. I almost forgot. What I want to do is I want to go to... Is it here? Yes. And I want to go to her, and I want to go to Scripps. And I want her to be a Grenadier. I think I've already got him set as a Grenadier. Yep. Okay. Let's, uh... A bunch of them together. Let's save the game. Okay. I don't really need the A there anymore either, so we'll go ahead and save. Alright, do I want to wait for the patrol to walk off or do I want to take advantage? Alright. You there, civilian. This is a restricted I guess area. We're talking what are you doing down here? <laughs> What am I doing down here? It's funny you ask about that. Security papers. Oh, <laughs> you're one of those trackers the commander sent down, right? All right I guess they we're talking our way out of this. It's nasty down that here. works too. We've already lost one patrol. I'd rather not we've take on the three of you. Got them. We've had so many encounters with those things, we've actually run out of rack ghoul serum. Plus, we've had oh. several skirmishes with looters from those lower city swoop gangs. <laughs> I'm telling you, we should just stay in the upper city where we're in control. You lost what one patrol me? already. Rescue. I didn't think they'd send anyone. They were in the southern section of the under. Southern we lost section. Oh. I would have gone to okay. investigate, but my orders are to search for those crashed escape pods, even if it means leaving another patrol to die. All right. Well, then you just hey, follow your orders. I and... never disobey my orders. I'm not a fan no. of court martials <laughs> and executions. I was just. Talking, you know. Yeah, Nothing okay. anyone has to mention to the commander. No. Come on, patrol, let's get back to it. The well, sooner it's we get this search done, mentioned. the sooner we can get out of this mutant commander. infested hole. Move out. All right. Uh, I was hoping I'd get some Reckle Serum off you, but... Since you said you don't have any... All right. Somewhere around here has got to be some. Ooh, that's a big bunch of them. I don't think we're going to take on a big group like that. Not with ten minutes left. Less than ten minutes. Let's just try to fill in some map. Without running into too many Rackles. Okay. I think that's one of my entrances. Alright. Round and round we go. Filling in some of the map there, which is good. That looks like a Republic escape pod crash. Alright, let's disable the mine. 
I probably should have sent La Chica over there. Are you kidding me? Let me let me check that real quick. Skills demolition total rank ten. Skills demolition total rank ten. Okay. So Okay. Really want to get over there. Alright, let's try my luck again. That works. Ooh. How? I don't How? remember seeing you before. Please. I I can oh. feel it inside my skin. Something I've seen this movie. Like some kind of hideous disease. No! No! Yep. I can feel it! Yeah, yep. if only I had the serum. I'll get there. Alright. Sorry, buddy. And let's go... Kaplow. Kaplow. Let's just try to power our way through this. Alright. And let's get you... Yeah. Sniper it up. And let's get you... Sniper it up. And let's try Just not to die. die. Oh, Dude, what? Let's How go! Yeah. No, because he's actually doing the damage. Oh, kit. Please don't die. Alright, so there's the escape pod. I guess there's the guy from the escape pod. I'm actually surprised the Sith didn't find you there, buddy. Alright, uh, alright. Let's take our chances with this. Are you kidding me? No. Alright, back to the hideout. Yep, no. Let's go back to the hideout. Into here. And I want to say I had something to... That's right. That's right, because I don't have any of the stuff to upgrade that. I also... Yeah. So these are essentially the same weapon, just different names. Same special. Yeah. Same special. Okay. We've only got the one upgradable item. I haven't picked up any upgrades for that. We got the two upgradable armor. I don't have the upgrades for those. Alright. I will start off. Well, let me see if you want to hey yak at me what real can quick. I do for you? That, that's a worrying hey there for a kid, you know? Right, uh... Really? You want to know about me? Nobody's ever really been interested in me before. What do you want to know? Oh. Big Z's <laughs> my family, you know? My parents, well, I guess they're dead. It was just me on my own until the day I saw Zalbar in the lower city. Little orphan I could Annie, tell yeah. right away he was in trouble. This was before the gang wars were out of hand. But even then, the Volkers were scum. A few of them were hassling Big Z, trying to pick a fight, but he wasn't looking for trouble. <laughs> Picks a fight with oh thank you. Hey, Who picks a fight with Volkers a Wookiee? Smart, but there were three of them, so <laughs> maybe they figured they could handle him. I don't yeah, know. Anyway, okay. I don't like the Volkers at right. the best of times, and when I saw them picking on this poor Wookiee, Wookie. all alone on a strange planet, overwhelmed by the big city, I just lost it. I screamed out, "Leave him alone, you core slimes!" and charged right at them. Well, one of them saw me coming and slapped me so hard he just about knocked me cold. Hey, don't treat me like I'm a little girl. I ain't, I ain't no, no kid. kid. I'm 14 okay. years old. All right. Those Volkers didn't scare me. They're nothing you but cowards. Mean. I knew how to deal with them. Of course, of course I'm pretty I sure never there wasn't any answer. Any I guess one of those that didn't like me seeing me get smacked remark. around. He let out this howl and yanked that Volker a meter up off the ground and <laughs> held him there by his throat. 
The other two screamed and ran off. Can't say I blame them. The first time you see an angry Wookiee up close, it isn't yeah. a pretty sight. I thought yeah, Zalbar sure. was gonna rip that punk's arms off and beat him to death with his own fists. The Volker was so oh, that scared, is the way, is fainted. It or maybe it's how they win at chess. That's how they win. Yeah. Keep telling Zalbar to brush those choppers of his, but he never listens. Just stay up wind when he's speaking, and you'll be fine. Anyway, I knew those Volkers would be back with friends, so I grabbed Zalbar and we took off. Ever since then, we've been a team. We look out for each that other. A dynamic you know? duo, you say? All right. Uh, he was fleeing some kind of trouble back on Kashik. Huh. That's all I know, really. Big Z doesn't like to talk about it. Uh -oh. In case you didn't notice, he's the strong, silent type. Doesn't Likes much I matter to me, though. I, to I talk accept to him, him for thing. what he is, not what he was. Me and Zalbar like to live in the present. Man, how did hey, you what's survive? that supposed to mean? Hey, you think I can't take care of myself? I've got street smarts. I know how to get by on my own. In fact, I look out for Zalbar more than he mm -hmm. looks out for me, you know? Big mm -hmm. Z's a little bit too gullible to make it alone on the mean streets of the lower So you're city. the brains and he's the brawn? Alright. He was fleeing some kind of trouble back on Kashyyyk. Okay. Doesn't no, much matter to me, though. That. We already went through that. Alright. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Like I used to tell my brother. Right. Fast talk and slick just words don't get the brother? job done. I didn't know you had a brother. My brother is a touchy subject, you know. It just uh, so happens. So this is what we're going to be really talking about like for the next few uh, right sessions. Nothing personal. Gotcha. Let's just get back to the business at hand, okay? Okay. So we're all as chatted up as we can yes, be what's here. Yes, you, right. you want to argue some more, is that it? <laughs> no, I don't want to argue. And I don't want to argue with you either. I mean, you seem sincere enough, I guess. I just don't trust yes. easily. And for good reasons, okay. which are my own. Uh, oh, damn it. I suppose I won't get any rest until I talk, will I? You want to know why I don't trust anyone? Fine. Here goes. Five years Here ago, goes. the Jedi had just finished the war with the Mandalorians. Revan and Malak were heroes. I was damn proud to have served in their fleet. It was Ooh. completely so you unexpected when they turned Revan on us, invading the Republic while good we were know. still weak. Nobody knew what to think, least of all me. Our heroes had become yeah. brutal, okay. conquering Sith. And we were all but helpless before them. I mean, think about it. If you can't so, even trust the best of the Jedi, who can you trust? That's the betrayal that's got you all hot and bothered? Uh-huh. That is an interesting choice. What do I have to do with Malak and Revan? Or they turn to the dark side? Why is it so personal? Uh, that obvious is going to give it a little more edge than I than I want to do. It's not so, that. It's, that's right. not what I mean. There, there were there were others, good, solid, trusted uh, men okay. who joined them. Malik and Revan and the Sith deserve others. to die for okay. what they've done. But the ones who fled the Republic and joined them are even worse. The dark side has nothing to do with why they joined with the Sith. They deserve no mercy. No mercy. Hmm. I know. I'm... And I should apologize to you. I've, I've become so accustomed to expecting the worst in others, and you've done nothing to deserve that. It's just... I even gave you really spiffy Let's armor. just continue with what we were doing. I'd rather not talk about it. Alright. So, that's as good as it's gonna be until we get to the next time to chat. Gotcha. Alright, so that is all the chatting. It is 9 o'clock local time. Which means it is time to call it an evening. So let me go ahead and save the game. Save episode two. And uh, there we go. Thank you very much for joining along. I hope you had fun with me as we do Games Revisited. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. This is uh, this runs every Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time minus 4 UTC. The archives are available on Twitch and Mixer as long as those two services keep uh, you know allow the backlog to stay there and they are also uploaded to my YouTube channel. So if you want to be notified when I go live again on this you know, do the following thing and all that good jazz. 
Uh, I would also greatly appreciate it if you're really interested in what we're doing here if you go to the YouTube channel and subscribe to the YouTube channel. That'll let you know when I post new videos. It'll let you watch the archives. And if I can get to 100 subscriptions, I can get an actual custom URL. So I'll be able to say uh, <laughs> where in YouTube to find me. Where it'll be an easy to use URL instead of that horrendously, horrendously long string. Links to that are on my personal website, anonjunior.com. That's also where I post about all the various other things that I do as well. Um, my different interests and the different game streams because, as I mentioned, I do this Thursday nights, but on Fridays at 7 p.m. I stream World of Tanks, a series I've been jokingly calling the 47% because uh, I, I help make the top half possible. Uh, good fun, good friends, a nice relaxing, stress-relieving Friday. Uh, nothing nothing too big on that front. I, it's I want to have some fun. I hope you have some fun along with me. Those replays are also up on the YouTube channel if you want to check that out and see if it's something you're interested in. And on Tuesdays, I run Minecraft. I have founded a server with Reyest and Arcadius, my sister and her husband. We are trying to get, we've been inspired by the Hermitcraft server and we're trying to get our own deal going. So right now we're in what we're calling season zero. And that is where we're getting set up. We're trying to get the channel set up, the stream set up. We got the website set up at coffeecraft.us. That is coffeecraft.us. And we post up the stream replays there. Right now, Arcadius is uh, not uploading his past streams anywhere. They stay up on Twitch. And uh, they'll be available for as long as Twitch keeps the past streams. Rayest has mostly been streaming as a guest. Uh, her day job doesn't exactly leave her a lot of time to stream. But she does do stuff in the meantime. Uh, we've got a couple of builds featured in this past Tuesday's video that she's been working on in her off hours. So uh, do check that out. And with that, I hope you had fun, and I will bid you adieu.